I didn't think we would ever get out of Chapter 2 of Learning Pearl, but we've made it. We're now into Chapter 3, which is all about lists and arrays. So, let's get started. The first thing that I want to point out is this little note in our first program, our first script. It says a list is an ordered collection of scalars. Now, let's just think about that for just a second. A list is an ordered collection of scalars. A scalar is a single piece of data. Okay? So, we could have a purely random collection of data garbage. Okay? With no connection whatsoever, except we grab them together and we say, this is my garbage. And we make a list out of it. By virtue of making a list out of it, we are giving it in order. Because something must be the first item in the list. And something else might be second, and so on. Now, this will fry your brain. We could have an empty list. That would be one where we have no items in the list. We call it the empty set. Okay, But it's ordered because nothing is first and nothing follows. Now an array, on the other hand, an array is a variable that contains a list. And when an we have an array, we can then refer to each item in the list by number. But remember now, computer scientists are pretty weird people. They like to start counting at zero. So the first item in an array, or the first element of an array, has the subscript zero. Okay? The second would be number one. The third would be number two. I'll explain why later. But for now, just remember, we're weird. We start counting at zero. Now, a list literal is a list of comma-separated values enclosed in parentheses. Okay? A list literal is a list of comma-separated values enclosed in parentheses. Now, we're going to go ahead and we are going to build an array of the American League Eastern Division teams. And I've got my list literal right here. Let me move it up and then I'll highlight it for you. Here's my list literal. It consists of the New York Yankees, the Tampa Bay Rays, the Boston Red Sox, the Toronto Blue Jays, and the Baltimore Orioles. Okay? That's my list. My array is ALE. Now, notice that it's an array. It's a collection of scalars. So, it doesn't begin with a dollar sign. It begins with the at sign or the at symbol. Okay? Now, ALE sub zero would be the New York Yankees. ALE sub one would be the Tampa Bay Rays. ALE sub two would be who? The Boston Red Sox. Okay. So now, once I run that statement in my script, this is true. We now have an array with five elements. Each one has its own position within the array, beginning with zero. And that is called the subscript. So now I'm going to come down 
and I'm just going to print out the entire array. I can do that by referring to the array name at ALE. So let's go to our terminal and let's say we want to run Perl ALE. And there we have it. American League East. We've got the New York Yankees, the Tampa Bay Rays, the Boston Red Sox, the Toronto Blue Jays, and the Baltimore Orioles. Okay, so come back in a few minutes and we'll take a look at some more things we can do with lists and arrays.